The dam has been a 50 year vision. It's unprecedented in regional Australia. We first wanted to expand something to really show and expose all of our life's work in various exotic pursuits in agribusiness, from sandalwood through to pearls and a whole range of other things. To execute this and to display this to the general public, we decided we needed a farm showcase. So we set about building what we call today the dam. The site had uh, an original Randville shed and around that we supported it with a massive amount of rock work. From there, we decided to extend that Randville shed and we simply put a second shed of this barn style 30 metres to the uh, east of the original shed. And we set about over a decade filling it in. And it was going great. It was, it was a fantastic project. We just forgot to tell the Shire about it. At some point, with my draft person, Sue Parker from Denmark, I realised I was out of my depth. I was struggling. And I started to inquire uh, who could help me with this. And the, the Forgione family, Rob Forgione's name, came up on a number of occasions from different people who highly recommended Rob. We mapped out what their vision was, their, their short-term plan and long-term plan. Part of our job was to master plan this, and we are currently still master planning. But with the building that we, we've got to date that's been finished, there has been a collaboration of engaging all the consultants, the necessary people required to get this through council. That was the biggest hurdle for us, putting together something, expand it and let the local council and the community understand what the vision was. So that took a fair bit of work to do and convert, obviously taking the existing to where it is now. Because I'd started building a decade before, a lot of the compliant issues that I thought I'd built compliant were no longer the case with the changing circumstances. So the building was a minefield of, of, of problems and it required both diplomacy and an innate capacity to understand from a you know, lifetime experience that CBD and Rob has of how to deal with bureaucracy, how to deal with all the various regulations and bring this building together. When we first started this project, it was a complete and empty shell. And obviously, the Birkbeck family had an amazing vision that they wanted to retain throughout the entire process. Understanding their vision was a critical part for us. And with an empty shell means you can have endless possibilities. For us, it was making sure we took the time to listen to our client and understand what they actually wanted to achieve. Being on a large working farm, that meant we couldn't go ultra modern. We couldn't take away from the natural landscape and the natural beauty. So for us, it was about maintaining what the actual environment has to offer and what we can actually create inside this space. So we took as much from the natural environment as we could. We found natural Mari trees and turned them into beautiful columns. We used the Birkbeck family's old pearl company, spread it through the concrete floors to make it something unique and special to them with a narrative behind it. For us, it was also about the flow and direction inside this facility to make it actually viable and operational. When they didn't have too many staff and it wasn't too busy, they could still operate this entire facility with just a handful of staff. So when it came down to it, it was all about the correct furniture selections, the correct placement. Even when we went all the way into the finer details, we made sure we positioned the fireplaces, the log storage units and everything in between as best as we could to make sure we guided the flow of traffic inside this building as much as we could. The family had existing stone, existing timber, so basically we created that and wrapped that around the building with the use of different materials. Liaising with Steve's landscape people, helping them create the landscape and with the landscape designers put the soft landscape together, worked really well and again what you see today is a testament to everybody's involvement. It was interesting to finish the building. I remember we went to the West Australian Government for a grant and I asked Rob for CBD for a reference. And at that point, he, he stated that the, the dam was one of the most exciting projects he'd ever been involved with. And I have to say, over a lifetime of my work, it's one of the most exciting things I've ever built. And it's just so satisfying now in our first year of operation. Now I look back, we've been going for about 15 months. First 12 months, we had 60,000 visitors. This year, we expect about 100,000 visitors. But to a person, they walk into this building and they're blown away. 